Hi there, in today's video you will learn how you can create this amazing animated circular chart in PowerPoint. So, let's start the interstellar journey. As always, tutorial slides are absolutely free to download, all of the information is in the video description. And if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Alright, my dear time travelers, so this is the chart that we're going to create today. And to create this beautiful chart, we'll have to create a couple of layers. So first of all, a soft background circle, some dark outlines for our chart, next some colorful beautiful arcs, and finally some animated labels for our beautiful chart. Alright, and here are all of these steps that we'll have to follow to create this beautiful circular infographic 5 steps in total. So let's not waste any time and let's just jump straight into the action. Okay, so the first step is all about slide background, so let's make our slide background a little bit more interesting by inserting a big and soft circle. Let me show you how we can do that. So let's just grab the circle tool, hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle just like that, make it pretty huge. Now let's add a gradient fill to this beautiful circle. Let's use two bright color stops, okay? Let's use the same color for the both color stops. And let's make this gradient stop on the right side completely transparent. That's beautiful. And let's choose a radial gradient. Okay. Now let's make the circle super soft by adding soft edges of 100 points. That's beautiful. Okay, let's get back to gradient stops. And for this first color stop, let's actually make it a little bit transparent as well. Let's add 75% transparency. And here we go. We have a nice subtle background circle that makes our slide background a little bit more interesting. And by the way, let's just cut and paste this huge circle into the slide master view so that we don't accidentally click on this circle while we are working on our beautiful chart. Okay, and the first step, creating a beautiful slide background is completed. Alright, let's mark it completed. And next, let's go with those dark chart outlines, okay? So let's get back to our slide. And we can activate the slide guides so that we can see where's the center of the slide. So let's just go to view and let's click on guides, okay? Now let's go to insert shapes and let's choose this specific tool called arc. And now let's just click once to insert an arc, okay? Let's zoom in a little bit. Now let's add some thickness to this arc. Let's add a thickness of 20 points. Let's make sure that the cap type is rounded, just like that. And for the height and width, I'm using 2.7 centimeters, okay? Now let's make sure that this arc is center aligned to the center of the slide. And now we can turn this arc into a circle by dragging on the little yellow handle. Now let's just duplicate the first uh, circle. Okay, let's make it bigger. Adjust the width. Now let's make one more copy. Let's bring it to the center. And once again, let's make sure that we adjust the width so that we have equal gaps between all of these three circles or arcs, okay? And for the outline color, let's actually choose black and let's add transparency of 80% because these guys are going to be our dark chart outlines. Super wonderful! Step number 2 is completed. We have our dark chart outlines. And next, let's add some colors to our beautiful circular infographic by creating some of those colorful arcs, okay? So let's get back to our slide, let's zoom in a little bit. Now let's duplicate this little inside circle. Let's just drag a copy to the right side and now let's change up the colors, okay? So now for the outline color, I'm choosing first of all no transparency and next to this beautiful bright green color and as well let's add a shadow to this uh, circle or arc. Okay, I'm using once again the same green color, no transparency and a blur of 100 points. This way we're getting this glowing nice circle, okay? Now let's do the same procedure to the rest of these uh, two circles. So let's create the bigger one and the biggest one, okay? And I'll meet you in a second. Okay, so now we have those three glowing beautiful green circles. Now let's just change them up a little bit by dragging on those little yellow handles. And this way we can manipulate how big or how wide those arcs are, okay? And at the same time, let's choose the color of this uh, little inside circle and this outside one, okay, so that we have some variety. And now let's jump into the selection pane and let's give some names to our beautiful arcs, okay, so that later on when we'll be adding animations, we'll have easier time understanding, you know, which arcs we are animating, okay? And with that, we have successfully completed step number three. That's beautiful. 
and now let's continue with creating those chart labels. And to save some time, I have prepared a couple of text boxes and a couple of simple circles. Nothing too complicated about that, just three simple uh, text boxes and three simple circles. Let's just line them up with our beautiful arcs. By the way, if you're wondering how to precisely adjust the length of your arc so that it matches the percentage of your label, in that case, we have to use something that I call a chart checker. And you can learn all about that in this video. Link is in the video description. Okay, my dear time travelers, step number four is completed. And now the last step, adding chart animations. Let's go. So first of all, let's just hide everything in the selection pane and let me show you one thing. Let's just unhide those dark outlines and let's unhide this blue arc. Let's go to animations and let's add a simple spin animation. Okay, now let's see what happens. As you can see, the arc is spinning, but it looks weird because the rotation center is off. So let me show you how we can fix the rotation center so that everything is looking nice. It should look something like this, okay? And to create a new rotation center, we'll have to insert a huge circle into the middle of this line, and after that we'll have to group this huge circle together with this blue arc. So let's do just that. Feel free to remove the fill from this huge circle, you can leave the outlines for now so that you can see where is that huge circle. Now let's just let both of these guys, let's group them up, and let's give this group a name, let's call it Blue Arc Group, okay? And now let's try adding a spin animation once again, and let's see what happens, okay? So the spin animation has been added, and as you can see now, this blue arc is rotating properly, that's awesome. And now, since everything is working, we can remove the line from this huge circle, we don't uh, need to see that. And now let's jump into the animation pane, let's go to this spin animation that we have added, and let's adjust a few things. So first of all, let's just add a smooth end, okay? And for the spin percentage, let's just add 1080, which means that our arc will basically make three 360s, okay? Three full spins. And for the duration, I'm using one second. And now let's add one more animation to this blue arc, let's make sure it's selected, let's go to animations and let's choose a watch animation, okay? So there should be two animations, the watch animation should be the first, duration is 0.6 seconds and next we should have that spin animation with 1080 degrees and this is how it should look like, that's super awesome, okay? And now we have to make sure that the rest of the arcs have the correct rotation centers. So let me just copy this huge circle and let's unhide the green arc this time. Let's paste in this huge invisible circle because we have removed the outline and fill. Let's group up these two guys and now let's give them a name, green arc group. That's awesome. And let's do the same with this uh, yellow arc, okay? So let me just bring down this green arc group just below. And now let's unhide the yellow arc, let's paste in this huge circle, let's make sure it's in the center. Now let's select both of these guys, let's group them up, and let's call them yellow arc group. That's beautiful, and let's just bring them down a little bit in the selection pane, okay? And now the next step is to make sure that all of these arc groups have those beautiful two animations, the wedge animation and the spin animation, okay? So we can use the animation painter and paste those animations from the blue arc group to the rest of the arcs. So let's do just that, okay? Alright, so all of the animations have been added, and if you would like to change up the order of the animations, you can do that easily in the animation pane. For example, we can bring those yellow animations to the top and those green animations to the middle. And now all of these animations are looking like this. Alright, and the last thing that we have to do is to animate those beautiful labels for our chart and let's make sure that everything is visible in the selection pane. And now let's select this first text box, 65%, let's go to animations and let's choose a swivel animation, okay, swivel animation, this is what we're going to use. Okay, let's make sure that this animation happens with previous for the duration, let's use 0.1 second. Okay, let's jump into the timing options and let's make sure that this swivel animation repeats itself five times. And for the text animations, let's make sure that it is animated by letter, okay? And let's check out the result, and as you can see we're getting this fast flickering text animation and this is what we want, okay? Looking good. 
Now we can use the animation painter and paste the same animation to the rest of these percentages and to the rest of these little circles, okay? And after that we can jump into the animation paint, drag around all of these animations and make sure that all of these animations are happening at the right time. Okay, so I think everything is pretty much ready and we can check it out on the full screen. Congratulations my dear time travelers, now you know how you can create this awesome animated circular infographic in PowerPoint. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. And as always, tutorial slides are absolutely free to download, all of the information is indeed in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.